Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to uh, Dragon Quest VIII. Let's go ahead and head on down. Um, I did uh, re I did equip the uh, leather hat on Ald, uh, so that he has a little bit more defense now from that. All right, we've got a big room coming up. We've got a passage out and stairs going down. So let's keep looking around. Fire Spirit appears, Mischievous Moles appear. So, they're taking less damage, unfortunately. Frizz, okay. It's actually okay. Mischievous Mole psychs himself up, all right. Keep going after the Fire Spirit, good. Excellent. I like it. 13 experience points, 14 gold coins. Right, there is someone at the opposite end, it looks like. I do not see any obvious treasure. Oh, that's a hammer hood. Dancing Devils! Does the sultry dance. Yangus doesn't catch the dancing bug, though. 14 experience points, 20 gold coins. Uh, that's a big door that has been smashed. All right, before we go talk to that hammer hood, let's take a peek back here. Nope, nothing. All right. Fire spirit appears. And it's dead. Good. Good, 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 good. Five experience points, four gold coins. Hello? Well, well, you must be really brave to come up and talk to me like this. A man that looked like a peddler came along earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. Anyway, as you've probably realized, you have to fight me if you want to go any further. Oh. What do you think? Brave enough for that, are you? Sure. R really? You are brave. That means you must be a good fighter. Uh, I know, in recognition of your bravery, I'm going to let you through. Off you go, be careful now. <laughs> do you by any chance think I'm a bit of a wimp? Well, I'm not, I tell you. If you don't believe me, why don't you try your luck uh, and fight me? Okay. Really? Then I suppose that's decided. Let's fight! Yeah, a hammer hood draws near. Eh, ow! Rude. Good. All takes no damage. Good. Yangus takes no damage. And down it goes. The Hammer Hood is defeated. 22 experience points, 9 whole gold coins. You, you, you caught me off guard. But I suppose you won fair and square. Go on, you can pass. <laughs> All right, you you have a good uh, snooze there. Let's go through that uh, arrow passage first. That might lead to that other treasure chest. Well, hello. 
Mischievous Moles are not what I wanted to deal with, but okay. Yeah, psych yourself up. Do it. No, you should have psyched yourself up. See, I'm telling you, you should have psyched yourself up. <laughs> That's not done any damage to me. Guess what? This passage is a dead end. Do you believe me? Nope. Why not? That's so mean. Now I feel blue. If you don't, then there's no point in me telling you anything. Have a nice adventure. Bye-bye. Just forget it. I didn't really expect you to believe me anyway. All right, fine. Be that way. I saw an arrow on the map. I don't know, I might have gotten some. Oh, a skipper appears. Go after that bubble slot. Wow, it's fast. Okay. Good, no damage. Go after the skipper. Decelerate. Nothing happens. Good. Twenty-two experience points. All its level increases to seven. Uh, five hit points. Four MP. Two strength, agility, and wisdom. One resilience. Two skill points. Let's go ahead and get these into boomerangs. Yankus's level increases to seven. I should have put those sword points into a boomerang. Oh well. Uh, two hit points. One MP. Four strength. One agility. One wisdom. Zero resilience. Four skill points. Fisticuffs. Yeah, I guess his Fisticuffs skills improves. Uh, he becomes a village champ. Yangus learns a Knuckle Sandwich. 24 gold coins. All right, Knuckle Sandwich is... Actually, uh, I think we can maybe see that. A powerfully focused and damaging bare-fisted strike. Uh, so that will do... Uh, 150% damage to a single enemy. Does cost MP, so right now he can do it once. Um, 2 MP because he's down a little bit. But that'll be a good... Uh, Good to use against the boss. Hello. What? Alt finds a copper sword. Sword puts it in the bag. All right. Okay. It is unfortunate that it costs MP, but... A little bit worried about Frizz. Okay, you're dead. Probably should have gone after one of the Fire Spirits. But that's okay. Took him out. 14 experience points, 13 gold coins. Wow, you got the treasure? Was it any good? I've been wondering what was inside that chest for ages. Eh, it was okay. Alright, let's go this way. Take those stairs. Mischievous moles appear, and another skipper. Angus, go after the skipper. Ow! Definitely gonna have to heal before the boss fight. 20 experience points, 20 gold coins. Good amount of money. Better armor would definitely help, but 
Oh well. There's a sign there. Let's go see what that says. Waterfall ahead. No littering. Okie dokie. No promises. Boy, that really uh, feels like a... Uh, like this is going to lead to a boss fight, doesn't it? I had a feeling that we could get into a random encounter, so... Okay, you're attacking. Ow. It's okay. All it needs to heal up anyway. Dancing Devils are defeated. 14 experience points, 20 gold coins. Not sure how close I need to get. Got a lot of money. There we go. All right. Fire Spirit. Okay, I'll heal up after this. No frizz. Good. All right. only cast six heals, but I do have some medicinal herbs. Five experience points, four gold coins. Mind you, I do kind of want to hold on to two MP so I can evac, but if I can't evac, uh, we'll be okay, I'm pretty sure. That appears to just be floating there. A crystal ball is suspended in the air. Reach out and take it? Yes! Let's reach out and touch someone. I will go ahead and take that. What? <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Meet Giza. I am the master of this waterfall. Okay. That, that's great. I just want to take this uh, crystal ball. Oh, how long has she been? How many people have gone and come? I have no idea. Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. Oh, I assume I'm the right one then. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the moment of news. Hey, excuse me, what? Does this Bristol call crystal ball belong to you? Uh, no, but I want to take it. No? No? But I was sure you were the one! Long, lonely years. Go then. My wait continues. So I, I, I gotta say yes, because I want to take it, huh? Fine, be that way. I'll take it. Yep. Let's do this again. Is he gonna say the exact same thing, or is he gonna say, oh wait, you're back? <laughs> I'm shocked again. You again? I... Giza, I'm the master of this waterfall, I tell you. I heard you the first time. Oh, how long has she been? How many people have gone and come? I still don't know, because you didn't tell me. Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left. One, I mean the right one to come. Okay. Now, have I asked you this before? Yeah, yeah, you never tell it before. You have, but uh, you can ask me again. It's fine. Does this Bristol call crystal ball belong to you? Um, I guess now it does, because I'm going to take it. 
At last we fit mace to mace. You half wit human. Now I'll teach you a moron. I mean a lesson you won't forget. Sorry, I've already forgotten. Too late. All right, boss fight time. Geezer draws near. All right, well, uh, I don't have any abilities, so... And I don't have any spells that actually will do anything here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, you have Knuckle Sandwich, though. A powerfully focused and damaging bare-fisted strike. Crouch and thrusts at the enemy for 15 damage. And 14 damage from all. Raises a Cursed Mist. Curse evaporates at all. Ooh, interesting. Yangus is cursed. Cannot move. I think that'll wear off next round. So it, ah, ouch. Ouch. I cannot do another knuckle sandwich, so... Attack. Seventeen, got a heal. All right. Ah, this is not healing enough. Curse missed again. Okay, curse once again evaporates uh, around all. The Yankus is cursed. He cannot move. It's very rude. Sizz. Yeah. All right. Well. Angus, at least, is going first, which is really nice. Good, yes, dodge the attack. An uppercut. First missed again, but it evaporates before hitting Ald once again. It's nice that that is very consistent. Kirsten cannot move, that's fine. Ald will keep doing the damage, slashes with his claws. <laughs> I do not remember how many hit points he has. But there we go. Geezer is defeated. That's what you get, Geezer. 107 experience points. 108 gold coins. Geezer drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains a seat of strength. Ald puts a seat of strength into the bag. Ever since I got this, I've not been right quite. Uh, I think it really messed up your head, for sure. And it's all because of you. What did I do? What? You don't know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. Then you... You're not the true owner of this crystal ball. No, no I just wanted it. The same. The same. Yeah, you should be ashamed. I don't know why, but you should. So strong. Strong enough to withstand my fearsome might. Yep. You are no Tortune fella. No, I'm not. Um, I, I do not fell Tortunes. Wait. Could you be the waterfall rears many humors, you know? Well, you should probably rebalance those humors, then. I hear that a castle called Trodane has been cursed. That it was run over, overrun by thorns. And that only one person inside survived. Technically three. He set off on a journey, leading a course and heart with a lone driver. You were quite well informed. That is a lot of vines.
it's me and soldier outfit. As I thought, that was you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, you're just kind of jumping to conclusions, though. I don't know what you want with this crystal ball. But it's yours now. I accept the hands. Or is it defeat? Yeah, it's definitely defeat. Because I definitely defeated you. I mean, you have no feet. Obviously, you're defeated. All takes a crystal ball and puts it in the bag. One last thing. Should you meet the true owner of the crystal ball, tell him this from me. Okay. Don't throw things in the fall water. No promises. So, where the fell? Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain of my own. That is quite the wound. I mean, like, I, head wounds can do a lot of uh, damage, so uh, I suppose there's some truth to that, but oh boy. All right, how are we doing on MP and stuff and hit points? Uh, we'll just D back. I'll cast D back. And out we go. So we don't have to walk all the way back. And we have the uh, Seed of Strength. Go ahead and use that. Alt Strength increased by one. It eh, wasn't as much as I would have liked. I'm gonna go ahead and give all that. But I will not equip it. Alright. The Crystal Ball, your for fortune telling, which Valentina asked you to find. Okay. Important item. Use when necessary. All right. Back we go. We have the crystal ball now. And a combat. Candy cats. Definitely going to want to save at the uh, rest at the inn. Four experience points. Four gold coins. Also going to want to buy the... Uh, some improved armor. Like, to a certain extent, right now, Yangus going first is not actually ideal. Um, so I might buy him the, uh, the new uh, hammer so that he'll do more damage uh, and go last. That way he can take out anyone who is left behind by all. But it's fine for him. And if he's got the, uh, you know, like healing items, that is actually good. So. Going first is very, very good. Three experience points, three gold coins. The slime drops a treasure chest. Ald opens it up. What? It contains a vial of uh, Amor Seco Essence. Ald puts the armor. Amor Seco Essence in the bag. I actually do not remember what that does. I know I don't possess a world map. Uh, sixty or more hit points to a single ally. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna keep that in the bag for now because uh, I don't need it in my inventory. No one has sixty hit points. All right, Candy Cats, get punched. The Candy Cats are defeated. Each party member receives four experience points, four gold coins. Right, off to the inn we go. Actually, you know what? Let's buy some things first.
Okay, that is a big boost. It's a little boost. But I think it's worth it. Hold off on some of the other items. There, there, there's going to be some uh, good reason to keep around old items. Uh, if I can buy the items, it's not a big deal. I don't need to keep them. But if I can't buy them, then I am going to want to keep them. I don't think I've sold anything yet that uh, I can't rebuy. But I'm not positive. All right, so Giant Mallet. That would definitely be a lot more damage for Yangus. Okay, not a whole lot of money left. But that's okay. All right, it is about time for us to wrap up the episode. There is a way down over here. I wonder what's in here if this is just like a hill. Or something. You know? I don't know. But let's go rest. Hello? Welcome to our inn, weary travelers. Would you like to spend the night or just rest for a while? In either case, I can offer you a rate of six gold coins. Stay overnight. Please enjoy your stay. trust you had a restful sleep. Please come again. All right. So when we come back next time, we will go uh, head back to Valentina and see if uh, this, this crystal ball is what she was looking for. Might as well get right over there. Actually, I should go save at the uh, church now that I think about it would probably be a wise decision. You're travelers, aren't you? Please go inside. The priest will take your confession personally. I only take confessions at night. All right, so when we come back next time, I will have saved. We will uh, go make our way. Oh, neat. Go ahead and make our way to the, uh... all right, now it's inverted. That's weird. Uh, we'll go ahead and make our way back to uh, Valentina and uh, see uh, see what she can, well, what Calderasha, I guess, could tell us about uh, our search for uh, Dolmagus. See you next time, everyone. <laughs>